Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the welterweight championship between Bruce and Red Devil. I hope you guys go like it. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Nightman. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Start of round one, I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? He's looking for that left hand, not there. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. 
There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, good kicks. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of better him than me. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Just missed with the left there. Big head kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Not there. Oh! Oh! Lands as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Try to establish that jab. What a tricky head kick. Way to hide that leg kick. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Beautiful strike. Just misses there with the left. Beautiful hook. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. We need to get a takedown to win the round. Throws the right hand there. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Able to check the high kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Nice punch there. Throwing hard in the pocket. Right hand landed. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Kick lands for him there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Ten seconds to go. Straight punch lands. Lee's lower jaw right, now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start to him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Tries the flying knee to no avail. 
Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Nice shot to the body there. on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Still nice body to land. Right hand upstairs. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Nice body kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Spinning back fist is there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at him. Straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. Oh! Just unable to quite find that range. Lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Big punch land. Ooh, yeah, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, straight right. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Just misses with the jet. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Good stick. He's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that dude. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, single collar time now. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. 
the guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Huge block there. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Just over two minutes now to go. Less than two minutes to go in round three. South position now we'll see who transitions first good movement by him here transitioning very well on the ground sir. step for step he's staying with his opponent in every transition all right he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke one minute to go back to his feet He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Lee.
20 seconds now remain in the round. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good at round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh my goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. In the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This 
is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, presenting the challenger, the Nightman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Do as you can. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, effective strike there by Lee. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Just a slip there. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Dig and kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Put him up. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. A oh, little single collar tie there. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Just misses there with the left. Liver kick. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Back to the jab now, no good. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he landed the right hand there. but that attempt missed. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. 
great connect, so fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Just missed with the left there. Rips the body there. with that punch. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. How good is that right hand? Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, oh he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. You got to check these low leg kicks. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Out of range with that kick attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Throws the teeth now and it lands. Final seconds of round one. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready? You ready? Round two on the way. Just out of range with that right hand. Way to hide that leg kick. That's what I'm about. Keep doing it again. Do it again. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. That's a big hook. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bullet. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Real sneaky body kick. Hands high, hands high. <laughs> Lee's kick is blocked. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Slips the shot. Hip over when he throws that kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice right hand. Kick to the body by Lee. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Back 
to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Throws the right hand there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big head kick lands. That one snuck in. Nice strike. That kick blocked by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he caught the kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it. Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweet Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. That's a big strike right there. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Oh, that right hand is on point. Wow, what a fight! Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Block that kick to the body. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Ten minutes in the books. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Championship fight. Well, this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, just misses with the kick. Blocked. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, what a punch. Looking to land the right hand. Oh, huge right hands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now we need to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Right punches there. Back to the feet now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, 
continuing to work the body to great effect. Lee gets caught with that punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. We march on three minutes to go. Unable to connect with the right hand there. It was a good night if that landed. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch man over the top. He missed with that jab attempt there. It's such a fast leg kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. What a punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the turnover in that kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Left hand punch with the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Great punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Clustering up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back him out now. Seconds to go in this one. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 20 seconds left. Two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to do the next 10 minutes. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here. Oh! He's out! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 22 seconds of round number four. The 
Declaring the winner by...